Hi, I'm Mitra Sorrells in the Focus Wire studio at Arrival in Orlando, and I am joined by Karen Aaron. She is president and CEO of the Green Book Experience. Welcome. Thank you, Mitra. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the Green Book Experience. Okay. So the Green Book Experience is a, a predicated from the historic Green Book from 1938. And in the book from 1938, it was a book that was designed to help African Americans travel across the Deep South during the Jim Crow era. Okay. So fast forward, um, we decided that we was going to put together a digital directory that has a listing of all of these cultural attractions from all over the country where you can go in, go into the destination, immerse yourself into those experiences, similar to what we did back in 1938, but also be online and available for anybody to experience. And now, is it launched yet or it's about to launch? So it is about to launch. We have a partnership with a company called Group Collect, so they are okay. our technology partner. So now what we're doing is we're asking tour operators or owner operators to put their information into the system and then it will be able to data sort into that into the back end of the system so now you can filter search on your type of experience so if you're looking for something authentic to food you can search by food those operators will camp will come up similar to destinations or experiences so it's really cool because it's a nice concentrated way to find cultural experiences all in one location and is the ultimate vision, did I read, you know, there will potentially be hotels and, and other things on there as well. It's not just experiences. Right? Absolutely. Right now we're looking at experiences, destinations, and food and culture because okay. we know that that's what the true cultural enthusiasts, that's what they look for. Okay. But our hotel partners, our places to stay, what to see and do when you get there is going to be a big part of it. So our number one goal is to make sure that we talk to that cultural experience and, make sure, and, and find those immersive experiences for you to come in and just enjoy and take advantage of it. Okay, so, and, and bookings will be able to be done through the platform? Yes, so our partner through Group Collect is the booking engine behind the scene. Okay. Right now we are working with them to get all of that content in, focus as many providers as possible, and then from there in the system you'll be able to create your own itinerary, itinerary pull in those experiences, and then you can get and book out from there. So it's really cool yeah. because you can actually kind of build it the way you see and feel it around your your day or around you know whatever experience you're looking for during that time while you're traveling and then be able to make connections and kind of build your own experience while you're on the road. And as you're starting this out right now, is mm -hmm. the focus on a certain part of the country or is it the entire U.S. or is it beyond the U.S.? We're focusing on the entire country. So it's interesting because initially with the Green Book, it was specific, It was the tool was specific for African-American travelers right. with African-American um, attractions. But what we found is that cultural is transglobal. Yeah. And we want to make sure that we have it open for anybody that's looking to travel or, and also a lot of those attractions that are not specific to African American culture. Yeah. So as I come to events like Arrival and I meet with tour operators from all over the world, our goal is to go ahead and import you into that product, into the system so they can find you. So to me, it's, 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 it's a global experience for everybody to enjoy and that's why we're make, we made sure that it wasn't just hyper-local or hyper-specific. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, certainly it's something we've been hearing quite a lot about that the experience mm -hmm. piece of a yes. trip is really the driving factor more and more for people, more so than I want to go to this destination. It's Correct. first, what do I want to do? Absolutely. And, you know, so it certainly feels like a, a timely solution. It, it is. You know, a lot of people don't understand that tourism is community. It's about the people that's in that, in that community. It's about customs that are specific to that destination. And it's about storytelling and what that really means. Yeah. So I, no, no offense to Disney and some of the other big uh, attractions that most people will see, but what we find is that people who want to really get to know the people and, and, and their, enjoy their vacation from an authentic way, those are the experiences that they're looking for. So what's not a better way to give them a tool to go ahead and experience that all in one place, easy to find, easy to build, um, and it just be, ultimately is become educational but rewarding. And did you say that the experiences that are going to be on the platform mm -hmm. then, you are you are sort of uh, cultivating those relationships one-on-one -on -one, or will you be working with any of the distri distribution partners that may be able to say, you know, here's a whole 
inventory. Right. So that is why I am here at Arrival. Last year in Vegas, I met with a couple of OTAs, you know, like Karen. Yeah. I would love for you to be uh, an affiliate or aggregator to help us kind of bring all of our your, your cultural experiences all in one place. So I met with a few of them today, met with some independent tour operators like, yes, count me in. I want to be featured. I want you some my, my audience, a perspective travelers define me and then also met with some destinations and they're saying you know what we have a product that a lot of people don't know we have stories in our destination that we, that's never been told so how can I become a part of this so that traveler can find me so it's okay. been extremely rewarding to be here and then on the other side of it how are you or how will you then mm -hmm. market this out? How will people learn that this resource exists? Well, fortunately, the Green Book has a very strong brand. And yes. although there are a lot of other travel-related Green Book um, products, we know that through our travel and tourism community, through our influencers, those that are specific to cultural and sustainable tourism, we know that that's a big tag for that and also working with a lot of our partners. So for them, it is not just about, uh, like I met with Big, Big Bus or Viator. Yep. They wanna make sure that they're being culturally, social, culturally and socially responsible too. Right. So using our leverage to go ahead and kind of play off of each other to make sure that the global tourism community is aware that there's a lane for these type of experiences that they may not can easily find. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, well, you excited know, about it. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a yeah. lot of activity in the next year or so, so we look forward to it keeping is. up. It is, it is. And I'll say this just as a, a first step. We are um, launching in the group travel market. Okay. So working with a lot of those bus companies and those major tour companies. So we know that if the group tour market love it, the public will love it. Yeah. Um, so They'll help spread the word, right? Yes, because, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Kudos to them. So <laughs> we're looking forward to working with our partners and working, getting the, the platform out. And it's going to be amazing. It's going right. to be really amazing. So. Wonderful. Well, Karen, Aaron, thank you so thank much you. for talking to yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Uh, join us online. You'll see us there soon. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.